hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so I think this is the sixth question uh, yes this is the sixth question I think so this is on again the concept of vectors and its properties and the question again is related to displacement of an object in various directions and we have to find the magnitude of the resultant vector so the question says a, pat a particle has displacement of 12 meters towards east 5 meters towards north and finally 6, kilo uh, six meters vertically up upwards and we have to find the magnitude of the resultant vector the net displacement so again uh, I would like to correlate the coordinate axis with the directions so we have the coordinate axis x uh, this is y this is x and this is z x y z and we also have the directions east west north south so we have to correlate the two now when we say that a person or an, an object is moving towards east it means movement along the positive x-axis okay east positive x-axis when we say that movement is along west it means along the negative x-axis when we say that displacement or movement is along north it means movement is along the positive y-axis when we say movement is a south it means along negative y-axis and when we say that displacement is vertically upwards 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 means along the positive z-axis vertically downwards when we say movement or displacement is vertically downwards it means it is along the negative z-axis okay east positive x-axis west negative x-axis north positive y-axis south negative y-axis vertically upwards positive z-axis vertically downwards negative z-axis okay so this is the convention okay I have already mentioned that in the previous video but in the previous video it was confined to only two dimensions x and y so the z-axis discussion did not come into play so here I just discussed it again all together okay so always remember this convention okay this is very important while solving these type of questions okay so the convention is set now let us solve the question uh, I have to erase this so according to the question the particle has displacement 12 meter east it means 12 units in the positive x axis along the positive x axis now the unit vector along the x axis is i cap so we can represent let me use the blue pen 12 meter east it can be represented as 12 i cap east positive x-axis 12 units 12 i cap 5 meter north 
0.5 meter north again north means positive y axis the unit vector along the y axis is j cap 5 units towards positive y axis so it is 5 j cap okay always follow the convention east means positive x axis unit vector along x axis is i cap so it means 12 meter east means 12 units along the positive x axis plus 12 i cap 5 meter north north means along the positive y axis 5 meter north means 5 units along the positive y axis the unit vector for y axis is j cap so it is plus 5 j cap the vector representation then 6 kilometers uh, 6 meters vertically upwards <coughs> sorry vertically upwards again i mentioned it vertically upwards means along the positive z axis here three dimension comes into play 3d movement along the three coordinate axis okay so vertically upwards means positive z axis six units along the positive z axis the unit vector for z axis is k cap so it is 6 plus 6 k cap so we have represented in terms of vector notations these displacements 12 meter east 5 meter north 6 kilometer uh, 6 meters vertically upwards so the total displacement the resultant displacement can be represented in terms of this vector let's say s vector is 12 i cap 5 j cap 6 k cap and the magnitude will simply be s vector this 12 square 5 square plus 6 square so it will be 144 plus 5 square is 25 plus 6 square is 36 so it will be 144 plus 25 is 169 169 plus 36 is 169 plus 675 plus 30 205 is root over of 205 so root over of 205 let's calculate root over of 205 it is 14.5 3 2 meters okay so this is the magnitude of the resultant displacement okay so this is the first way of solving this question we have an alternative way which you can follow let us do that okay so now let us solve this same question in the second way the alternative way so the particle has displacement 12 meter east okay so let us say that the particle has its initial initial position here 12 meter east east is in this direction 12 meter east 12 meters then 5 meters north five meters north then six meters vertically upwards so six meters vertically upwards it will be very difficult for you to show a three-dimensional motion in a 2d board so six kilometers vertically upwards means it will look something like this okay upwards x y upwards vertically upwards okay like this if we if i put the pen like here like this okay if i put the pen here like this it will be this vertical upward motion six meters six meters 
in the vertical direction upwards so let us just rep represent it like this okay 6 meters vertically upwards okay so we have to find this resultant vector okay so so you understand the 6 meter actually is in this this one I am representing it using a whiteboard which is two dimension basically so I have just represented like this so for that we have to first find the resultant of this two vectors 12 meter and 5 meter which will be this if we use Pythagoras theorem it will be this resultant will be 12 square plus 5 square root over which is 144 plus 25 root over which is 169 root over which is equal to 13 so this is 13 meters this resultant will be simply 13 square plus 6 square okay again Pythagoras theorem we apply this is also 90 degree because all of them are in mutually perpendicular directions the three coordinate axes x y and z are in mutually perpendicular directions so this is all this is 90 degree this is also 90 degree it does not look like 90 degree my drawing scales are not that great but this is also 90 degree so this r vector will again be Pythagoras theorem applied 13 square plus 6 square whole root over 169 plus 36 root over which is root over of 205 which is again 14.32 meters so the same thing which we calculated previously in the first way is equal to r vector modulus is equal to 14.32 meters so in both the ways the answer is the same so that was the first method this is the second method whichever you find comfortable you can use it so the concept stays the same okay the concept stays the same just the approach is different okay so always remember the convention east west north south vertically upwards downwards along the coordinate axis positive x axis negative x axis positive y axis negative y axis positive z axis uh, negative z axis okay always remember how to correlate the different directions with respect to the three coordinate axis so here we have discussed the sixth question so i hope you like this videos and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much